Froglike is an indie roguelike mobile game combined with retro pixel art arcade elements. It's definitely an interesting take on the roguelike genre and is pretty challenging. What is up my dwellers of the interwebs, I'm Sorisin and welcome to my channel. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you like my content and hit that bell icon to stay up to date on all my upcoming content. And if you're watching this on taptap.io or on the taptap app, I hope you'll consider following my profile as well. In Froglike, you play as a little frog and must jump between lily pads to try to dodge all the enemies that are coming at you from every angle, all while trying to help Kronos guard the lily of time. Each stage being randomly chosen from various map combinations, you can also find items to help you survive and kill the enemies, like bombs to help clear the field. There is also a variety of different skins to unlock for your frog as well. Visually, this game is very reminiscent of classic arcade games, or even maybe a Game Boy Color game with its bright colors and pixel art. It really is a super pretty game. I thought that since Froglike is a roguelike game, and while it is pretty fun, the content to talk about is pretty small, I thought I'd compare this game to other roguelike mobile games to give you a wider variety of choices. The first roguelike game I took a look at is Downfall. Downfall is similar in that as with other roguelike games, the enemy is coming at all angles of the map. However, in Downfall, it is more action-packed. You have weapons to take down your enemies and don't have to worry about hazards around the map that could kill you. Instead, you are strafing around the map, trying to dodge the enemies and then kill them all. You also get buffs to help your character as well, like shields or speed boosts. The second roguelike game I took a look at is called Pawnbarian. Now this one is really intriguing. It's a chess type game with roguelike elements. You must work your way around the chessboard trying to take out the various enemies in the dungeon. Each enemy has a different mechanic and you can buy more attacks in the shape of different chess pieces. As with Froglike, you must dodge the enemy and avoid hazards on the ground. However, in Pawnbarian, this game is more turn-based than real-time like in Froglike, allowing you to choose your next move carefully within the allowance of what chess pieces you have available to you and what special abilities each chess piece has, while in Froglike, you have to think fast and make decisions in a split second, which can cause you to make errors if you're not focused enough. Pawnbarian is a fun roguelike game that is great if you want to play a roguelike game at your own pace. The third roguelike game is Unhappy Raccoon, a fast-paced furry-style roguelike game you can pick from a variety of different characters with different weapons and then go explore different stages while taking on multiple enemies from all over the map. Like with with Froglike, this game is real-time and you have to think on your feet to dodge and avoid the hazards on the ground. There's also plenty of upgrades to improve your character as well as rewards to be earned. Honestly, this game is also really fun and the graphics are very impressive. If you're on the lookout for a roguelike game, this could also be another option. Overall, I'd say that Froglike is a super fun roguelike game and the other games I mentioned are great alternatives or even games to play along alongside Froglike if you truly love roguelike games. I highly suggest you give them all a go, they are all super fun. So there you have it, that's my three games that are similar to Froglike. Thank you for watching, I'm Sorisin, have a fantastic day, feel free to follow me on all my socials, links are all in the description and pinned comment below.